Hello everyone. I just wanted to make a quick video showing you how we use 3M to code an inpatient to generate an MSDRG. So I have a practice case up here and this patient it says is a 46 year old gravity 2 para 1 who presents with dysmenorrhea and excessive or frequent menstruation. Um, she's admitted for a hysteroscopy and DNC on the basis of having to wear a pad almost three weeks out of the month. She reports that for the four, first few months, it's been light and spotting. For two weeks after her period, it's over. Then if we look at the past history, there's really nothing except for she is on thyroid medication for hypothyroidism. So we're going to code that. There's really nothing else to note in this history. So our impression is our dysmenorrhea, menometragia, and then the hypothyroidism. So we're gonna have three diagnoses that we're gonna code. And our procedures, it says, is a hysteroscopy and a DNC. Remember, DNC stands for dilation and curatage. Both are performed without complications. So let's pop over to 3M and go through how we code this case. So we're gonna hit female, of course, she was 46. Then under your product finder, make sure you do DRG. DRG is how we get an MS DRG. And hit continue. Our patient disposition is where the patient went to when they left our facility. So this patient was discharged home. So we're gonna hit one for patient went home. And now we put in our admit diagnosis, which is the dysmenorrhea. So I'm gonna hit number one. And we don't know if it was any of those. It wasn't documented other than dysmenorrhea. So I'm gonna hit five. There's our code. So I'm gonna hit continue. And now 3 is asking for our principal diagnosis. Remember that the diagnosis we just did was admitting. Admitting is just a placeholder. The principal diagnosis, according to our UHDDS guidelines, right, is what drives our MSDRG calculation. So sometimes the admitting is the same as the principal, but the principal is what is important, right? You want to make sure that the principal diagnosis meets those UHDDS definition, which is a condition established after study that warranted the inpatient stay, which again is the dysmenorrhea. So we're going to type that again. Then we're going to hit other. Okay, there's our code. So we're going to hit enter and add another diagnosis, um, our menometragia. So I'm going to hit number two here. Our patient was not postmenopausal, so we're going to hit two. And there's our second code. And then we also need to code the hypothyroidism. So I'm going to hit three here. We don't know what caused it, so we're going to hit F. And she did not have any procedures for her thyroid, so we're going to hit no procedures. Now I'm going to hit continue, and then I'm going to hit add procedure, because she did have GYN procedures, just not thyroid. So the first one was a hysteroscopy. We're going to hit number two. And they just went in and looked. They didn't do anything with the hysteroscopy. It didn't say um, hysteroscopy with DNC, right? It said and. So those are two separate things. If the DNC had been done through a hysteroscopy, then that hysteroscopy would become the approach. But since these are two separate procedures, a hysteroscopy is when they just go in and look and did nothing. So that's an inspection. It's diagnostic. Where a DNC is when they go in and take tissue. Okay. So we're going to hit one. And they did the uterus and cervix. So we're going to hit three. Okay, so there's our inspection or our hysteroscopy code. Again, if we had known that the DNC was done through a hysteroscopy, we would only need one code. But since these are two separate procedures, the hysteroscopy, they just went in and looked and left, and the DNC is when they went in through the vagina and took the tissue, so that's separate. So we're gonna add that procedure now. So I'm gonna just type DNC. Didn't give me enough information, so type dilation. 
So extraction is the root operation. Oh, no wonder it says code. Okay, so. So there I can type DNC. I was just in the wrong field in 3M. So make sure it says uh, term and not code. So now I'm going to hit one for DNC. And this was not obstetric, right? She wasn't pregnant. So we're not going to pick one or three. We're going to pick two. And again, if the hysteroscopy was used for the DNC, I would be coding two here, but it wasn't because it said and. So it's separating the two procedures out. So we're going to pick one. And they send this tissue to have it looked at. So we're going to pick diagnostic. And there is our second code. So we're going to hit continue. And then our DRG is right up here at the top. It's at the very top under this DRG table where it says Medicare or it's in the first block under the ICT-10 summary where it says 745. So our MSDRG for this case is 745. In 3M, it just doesn't have the MS in front of it, but the DRG is the same thing as the MSDRG. I hope this video was helpful.